November has come to an end, and some of the best movies on your favorite streaming services are about to up and leave. So you better watch them as fast as you can. From comedies to action flicks to anime fantasy and sci-fi horror, we've compiled a list of some of the finest movies leaving Netflix, HBO Max, Hulu, and Prime within the next week. Keep watching this video for more info. Number 1. American Werewolf in London In this hairy horror comedy, Naughton and Dune play college students David and Jack, respectively, who have opposite experiences after meeting a lycanthrope, Jack, who visits David in the afterlife and begs him to end his life so he won't harm anyone else, is unaware that David may have feelings for the nurse who helps him recover. Prosthetic effects by the legendary Rick Baker add to the agony and fascination of this offbeat ticking clock film, which premiered in 1981. American Werewolf in London left Prime on November 30th, 2022. Number 2. Blood and Bone Some of my favorites are direct-to-video action movies, especially those involving martial arts. However, the question remains as to the origin of this love. Three of my all-time favorite films all came together in one week. Blood and Bone, Undisputed 2, Last Man Standing, and Universal Soldier, Day of Reckoning. The incredible martial artist Isaiah Bone, yeah, that's his name, from Blood and Bone is played by Michael J. White, who also stars in Undisputed 2 and wrote and starred in Black Dynamite. Pinball, the promoter, Dante Bosco, talks him into joining an underground fight ring, where he will eventually cross paths with a mob boss and many skilled boxers. In this film, White engages in a number of high octane battles, including those with former professional fighters Kimbo Slice, Bob Sapp, and Matt Mullins. The incredible physicality and the unbelievable kicking ability of White are fully utilized in the breathtaking choreography, which is a terrific display of hard-hitting bodies in motion. From December 1st, Netflix will no longer have access to Blood and Bone. Number 3. Clueless Clueless is, quite simply, iconic. From its memorable lines, do you prefer fashion victim or ensemble challenge, to the charisma of its leading actors. In Beverly Hills, Amy Heckerling wrote and directed a classic high school film. The film stars Alicia Silverstone as Cher Horowitz, a wealthy and popular student who befriends the tragically unhip new girl, Ty, and is loosely based on Jane Austen's Emma. Not many people, if any, watching this video have probably never seen Clueless. The purpose of this entry is primarily to prompt you to revisit the film. Thank me later. Sadly, there will be no more Clueless on Netflix after December 1st. Number 4. Invasion of the Body Snatchers Originally set in a small California town, Philip Kaufman's 1978 remake of Walter Wonger's 1956 science fiction horror film relocates the action to the heart of downtown Los Angeles. The plot of the film centers on scientists Matthew and Elizabeth, who discover a terrible secret. Humanity is being secretly invaded by plant-like extraterrestrials, intent on conquering the entire planet. Kaufman's film is a shrewd reinterpretation that brings the original film's premise up to date, without losing any of the menacing paranoia, helped along by terrific supporting performances from Jeff Goldblum and Leonard Nimoy. Not only is Invasion of the Body Snatchers, released in 1978, one of the best remakes in film history, but it's also widely regarded as one of the best works of science fiction horror cinema ever made. You can't deny the overwhelming evidence from the film's surreal prologue to its unforgettable and shocking climax. Prime Video will no longer offer Invasion of the Body Snatchers after November 30th. Number 5. Jackie Brown Now is as good a time as any to watch the greatest film ever directed by Quentin Tarantino, and by some margin. Based on Elmore Leonard's great novel of the same name, this crime thriller features the incomparable Pam Greer as a flight attendant who is caught smuggling weapons and money out of Mexico. She is picked up by a bail bondsman played by Robert Forster, and the two form an unlikely friendship in the midst of a complicated plot. Jackie Brown has a lot going for it, an electric cast that features Robert De Niro, Bridget Fonda, Michael Keaton, and a young Chris Tucker, and the fact that Tarantino's more annoying writing tics are significantly muted by the fact that this is an adaptation. However, the film's undeniable sense of romance is my favorite aspect of it. Greer and Forster's on-screen chemistry as a middle-aged couple who fall in love out of the blue is one of my all-time favorite on-screen duos. From November 30th, Jackie Brown will no longer be available on HBO Max. Number 6. Mary and the Witch's Flower In the anime directed by Hiromasa Yonabayashi and based on Mary Stewart's 1971 children's book The Little Broomstick, the protagonist, a precocious young girl, follows a mysterious cat into the nearby forest and is subsequently taken to a mystical boarding school in the clouds. There she learns the arcane arts and discovers the shocking truth about a rare flower whose immense magical properties threaten the entire world if it ever falls into the wrong hands. Mary and the Witch's Flower is an aesthetically pleasing film and a heartfelt homage to Studio Ghibli's canon by some of the studio's most talented former artists and animators, but it may lack the thematic or emotional clarity of films like Kiki's Delivery Service or Princess Mononoke. A final 
final viewing of Mary and the Witch's Flower was made available on Hulu until November 30th. Number 7. Minority Report Audiences were first exposed to the concepts of hand gesture assisted augmented reality and wall climbing automobiles in Steven Spielberg's adaptation of Philip K. Dick's short story. Tom Cruise plays pre crime captain John Anderton in Minority Report and is the leader of a police organization that aims to prevent crimes before they happen by employing three psychics to invasively pour over the minds of every unfortunate American. Anderton is forced to abandon the system he's worked so hard to uphold. After being falsely accused of murder, he sets out to discover the sinister truth behind the system's inception. November 30th marks the end of Prime Video streaming of Minority Report. Hulu seems to be losing a lot of movies in December. Why is that happening? In the same way that every month brings a new crop of shows to the streaming lineup of major services, Hulu's selection will look a little different by the end of November. But how come movies keep disappearing from Hulu and other streaming services? It's easy to understand though. Old streaming agreements expire and new ones begin. Simple as that. Changes are always coming to Hulu and this past November was no exception. Unfortunately, as a result of these adjustments, a number of critically acclaimed movies will no longer be available to stream on the service's website. All of the movies that were removed from Hulu in November have been announced and the majority of the titles that left did so from November 30th with a few movies leaving on November 14th. Films like Fight Club, Big, Dawn of the Dead, 10 Things I Hate About You, Oblivion, The Muppets Take Manhattan, Young Guns, and True Lies are among those that will no longer be available on Hulu. Now that you know some of your favorites have been removed from Hulu, it'll be a good idea to check them out elsewhere. Will Netflix be axing some movies and shows in December? While tidings of joy and cheer are in the air, those who subscribe to Netflix in December 2022 will be disappointed to learn of all the content that will be removed from the service at the time. However, you shouldn't fret. With so much new content added to Netflix in December 2022, the streaming service is gifting this holiday season. There's so much on the horizon that you won't even care about what's leaving. You still have time to construct a binge-watching strategy, as most of the content disappearing this month won't actually go away until about halfway through December. One of the first shows to depart the platform this month is Fast Color, starring Sanaya Sidney as a superhero, followed by new seasons of The Challenge, Teen Mom, and Merlin. A week separates the departures of the Oscar-winning picture The Danish Girl and the Tony Award-winning musical Shrek the Musical, and on New Year's Eve, 24 additional films say their goodbyes. In just weeks, Netflix will no longer provide many of its popular movies, including the Men in Black trilogy, the entire Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle saga, and early 2000s classics like A Cinderella Story and New York Minute. It's important to keep in mind that a lot of exciting changes on the horizon, but here's what you can expect to disappear from Netflix between December 9th and December 31st. The Shack, Fast Color, Manhunt, Unabomber, Black Ink Crew, New York, Seasons 3 and 4, The Challenge, Season 12, The Challenge, Season 25, Merlin, Seasons 1 through 5, and Teen Mom 2, Seasons 3 and 4 will all be gone by the end of December. So guys, which movies or shows do you wish remained on Netflix, Hulu, or the other streaming services this month? Kindly let us know in the comment section. And if you enjoyed watching the video, it'll be great if you give it a like and share so your friends can watch it too. And last but not least, make sure to subscribe to the channel and tap the notification bell to keep getting more interesting content like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.